Hey guys, welcome back. That's a terrible angle there. A little better. Hey, um, I know I look like hell. I'm just going to get ready and I wanted to have a little chit chat with you guys. But let's talk about the elephant that's no longer in the room. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so stupid. Guys, Baregio has came to the rescue. Um, not sponsored. <laughs> Baregio Don't Despair Repair Gel to Oil Overnight Treatment. This here, you can get it at Sephora. Um, I think it was $28, I believe. Comes in a little, little tube like this. And as you see, I use this and I have a lot of hair. So, that's not very much. Probably use a tenth of it. Probably good... I would say five or six good good uses out of it. Guys, you know, I was very, very skeptical. It gave me back my shine. Um, I washed my hair yesterday, so. Just kind of brushed it this morning. But, I mean, look, it brought back life. After, you know, if you've been watching, all the BS with my hair and... God, that horrible thing. But, um... Just kind of want to chit chat, and I'm gonna get ready. We've got a doctor's appointment today. Oh, cr fingers crossed, fingers crossed, guys. I had the um, endoscopy done. Going to have the review of it, and pray to God. Man, I know I have gastroparesis. It's not gonna get any better, but you know, I can hope, right? I can hope. Let me just tuck my hair back. Anyway. I'm going to show you kind of the, uh, this is the quickie kind of get ready with me kind of thing I've been doing. Just kind of have a good skin look, um, very minimalistic with the makeup. I have fell in love with this ColourPop no, uh, no filter concealer right here. This stuff is great. I am using a uh, Fair Neutral 10. It's been just perfect for me. Um, it has, it's not as dry as most of them. And I found a way to use just this. Just to kind of, I'm not really putting a lot of makeup on. As you see, I'm not, once you see what I do with this, I'm not using a whole lot. I just kind of, it's hard to talk and blend. <laughs> I just kind of blend this out. Yes, I'm using the Morphe brush. Or Morphe uh, sponge. I needed a sponge that had more of a, an angle to it. To kind of get that in. You do have to work really fast with this stuff. It dries very quick. I didn't really... I use it mainly just to cover up some of the dark and just even out my complexion a little bit because, you know, girls, if you get this area here looking good, the rest just kind of blends in. And let's face it, guys, our problem area is right here. I mean, that's where it is. That's what, that's what happens. It's hard to kind of, I'm trying to use the mirror and... I've been not liking the edge of my mirror. It's one of these lighted little mirror guys. I hate having it in the shot, but just kind of do that under my eyes and right here. Now, you don't want to use too much of this. As I put a big glop. As you see, I'm using it to just kind of even out my complexion, get rid of the red, which is basically in the center of my face. Um, I've had people ask me about the red on my face. It is hormonal. Um, I'm 48. I'm old, I know. <laughs> I am postmenopausal, unfortunately. Um, I went through menopause. Believe it or not, I think my back surgery made me go through menopause early. 
I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but that was like, that was it for me. Right after my back surgery, and that was it, no more. I've got these horrible, I hate these right here, sunspots. Most people are like, oh, I don't even notice them, but I do. So I try to kind of cover them up. If you see, I'm blending this out a lot with a very wet Morphe brush. You want to make sure to keep moving, keep moving the product. Don't, don't let it dry too fast. You want to move it fairly quickly. And if you watch, I'm not rubbing it. I'm patting it and kind of dragging it along as I do that. Because if you, um, if you pull it, you're going to, you're going to actually cause it to crease really bad. And if you have dry skin like I do, that will not help. But see, I mean, that just gives you that kind of, just like a good skin look. See, I just kind of, I'm not using any foundation today. Now, um, if you have dry skin, you're probably thinking, oh my God, she's putting concealer all over her face. Guys, something about this ColourPop, God, my, you know, I look in the mirror over here and my dark circles do not show that bad. I look over here and I keep wanting to put more. But for some reason, I guess everything's emphasized more on here. Believe it or not, in person, they do not they do not look that dark. God, they look terrible right there, though. But I am doing my makeup for in person, not for on camera. <laughs> so, but as you see, I'm just kind of letting it out. But um, I know what you're thinking, dry skin. But this ColourPop, guys, it's something with using this ColourPop and using a radiant type, a uh, illuminizing type of... Uh, Finishing spray after I do it after I do all my makeup. I either use the um, The cover effects illuminating you have to be very careful with that I don't know if you've seen this, but this has been a real godsend for me. Make sure you shake it as you hear it's got a little It's got a little ball in there for a reason Let me just show you on my hand That's just two quick little sprays uh, let, me, let me put a little heavy so you can see but see, it has, not really a glitter, but let me, you see, it has like a, it has like a sheen to it. And if you do not mix that up in there, it will get, it will get everywhere. It'll get in your lines and whatnot. That's why you want to make sure to shake it and you hear the little ball in there, get going with it. I've been using that lately or the, um, this Tarte Ready Set Radiance. I have been using this for forever, and that's really been my go-to. Um, now, as far as setting, um, I normally do like to lightly set my makeup. Um, I like to use the RCMA, the true, this is the true no color powder. I have a, I have a glass table down here, and I love to just... I always wipe my table off when I'm done because I use the table. I just very lightly dust my face. As you can see, just barely picking that up. Now under the eye, you want to... Now with fine lines, you don't want to drag too much until you get into here. Now the reason I show you here... We move our mouth all day long, so, and I'm still very light, very light handed. You do not want to use nearly that much around your, your, um, eyes. I do my hairline a little heavier, a little heavier up there. And the reason why I do that is I'm in Florida and I sweat like, like nobody's business. But as you see, I'm not I'm not doing the dipping it into the thing and uh, powder and dabbing it on. Now, I have dry skin, and that does not work on my skin at all. I have been loving this Makeup Revolution, the HD uh, Pro 
Pro HD Powder Contour. I've really been digging this, and it's taken me a while to find something I liked. Um, I used these three colors right here. I just kind of dragged through the three of them. Kind of tap that off, and I come right here in the hollow of my cheek. This is this is a daytime look. And don't be afraid to slowly build it up. Now, you want to stop your contour right there, right at the corner of your eye. If you look at your face this way, you want to stop your contour here. See how you can just see it coming into play right there? You, that gives you a nice shape to your face. Gives you a nice shape, but not real. You don't want to look real snatched for the daytime. Or you do. If you do, hey, have at it. Do what you want. I don't. I like to come right to the edge of my eye. Right there. That's looking a little red right there for some reason. I think it's I think it's this light over here, to be honest. This light tends to pull make everything look red. And you see I'm just kind of dragging it up along my hairline. I do tend to go a little heavy into my hairline right here because of, of gastroparesis. If you don't know what that is, watch my video. And I'll explain it a little more. I go with the darkest color and I go right into my hairline right here. And the reason why I do that is my hair is badly, badly thinning. And see how that just kind of, that just kind of filled that back in, especially right here in the crown. My hair is badly thinning. Um, gastroparesis is basically a paralyzed stomach, and when that happens, you do not get the proper nutrients, nutrients, excuse me, I can't talk today, nutrients, and hence, you don't, um, uh, your body doesn't take care of itself the way it should. Now, also, I'm doing a day look, and I like to just stay right in this contour palette, um, and just kind of give a little depth and a little warmth to my eyes like that. Sometimes I will go in here. This is just a Morphe blender brush. I will go in this middle shade right here. Kind of tap that off. Because my eyes are hooded, I like to um, I like to add a little dimension to them. It just kind of it helps in aiding to just some prettier prettier look for the day and I'm just a fanatic about eyeshadows now I've went into the lightest color to just kind of tap that's this one here just kind of to kind of come up along the edge of my brow I haven't done my brows yet I like to highlight my brows before I uh, I do my brows for the day look just because I, I don't go real heavy into them. Uh, oh great. Where did my eyeliner... Where did my... Nothing better than losing your brow products. And this is Goof Proof Brow in number four. These are great because for a quick day look, you just kind of... I just kind of go quick into it. And then drag the end out a little bit. I do have very thin brows. You see the difference? Now that is a little red on camera. It doesn't look so bad in person. But I do tap over that with a little black here in a minute. Well, not black, but it's uh, number five in this. If I could find it, it'd be nice. Mm. This is the um, Gimme Brow. This is in number five. Usually go over it with the um, Goof Fruit Brow, but I could not find my darker one. So we're just going to kind of, I'm just lightly going through that. So you can add a little darkness to it. And just add a little a little contrast in the that really red look. I'm not liking how red that's looking on camera, but it's funny because things look so different on camera than they do in person. It's crazy. 
And I'm just kind of going to go through that quickly with a little spoolie, kind of blend those colors together. See, it gives you a kind of more natural, but still kind of filled out brow. Not bad. I wear glasses, so I tend to do a little heavier on the brow to stand out. Oh, um, I had mentioned this little guy here before. These are very hard to find, and I did find out Morphe makes one. This is a mascara fan. It's you got to do your mascara. I mean, this thing is great. I, it took me forever to find one. I did not know Morphe made them. But when you put your mascara on, you can either straight use this or you can go over it afterwards. Um, I do also use that little, I think I've showed you guys before, my little rake to separate my lashes. I clean my brushes and I cannot find anything since I've done that. Don't you love when that happens? I can't even find my little rake. It's a uh, little eyelash rake, but anyway, um, this one I just kind of, you can really, you can comb through your lashes with this. And also you can put product on here and uh, do your mascara that way. I am wanting to try out a new mascara today. I'm just going to do some, I'm just going to do a light kind of makeup today. Like I said, I'm just going to the doctor and I don't want to be like super, super crazy on my makeup. And I am addicted to these Urban Decay eyeliners, the 24 sevens, which I have to sharpen this one because I use it like every day. No, I sharpened it too much. Don't you love that? This is um, this is called Asphyxia, and I love this color. I love this color for the top lash right here. I have very hooded eyes, so and I have very hazel eyes. And if you use purple on hazel eyes, it will bring out the green like you will not believe. But I just like to do the top across like that. And the bottom, I'm using um, Lancome. What is this color called? This is Amethyst. This is color. It's so pretty. This is like the prettiest purple. And it really just sets my eyes off. I'm just going to pop this into my waterline. And into my lower lashes. I kind of blend that into my lower lashes to kind of smoke it out just a little bit, you know, so it's not so defined looking. Because if you just go in the waterline, it just, to me, it seems like it just closes the eye up so much. So I tend to go into that waterline. And also I like to do the top line, the tight line with it. And this color here is Heartless in the 24-7. And I just kind of bring that in just in the corner right there. I don't know if this will really show on camera very well. It does show up in person really nice. Oh, there you go. It's just a very subtle highlight to that corner. I also like to bring it just lightly under my brow arch right here. And that is how I do just a basic look on my eyes. I don't like to go crazy, crazy when I'm just running to the doctor. So I'm going to put a little blush on. Let's see what we got here. This is Party from Tarte. This is, as you see, it's, it's, not, it, it's more of a dark kind of more of a natural type color blush it looks pretty dark in here but as you see it's just a nice just brings a nice color into there put some color back into my cheeks because I take everything out when I do the uh when I do the um the color pop I am loving this brush Still, if you've seen me talk about this, this is the Marc Jacobs 
This is the amazing, amazing, I think it's a bronzer, the bronzer brush is what it's called. But that is the basic look that I do. It's just a light daytime. Um, and for lips, oh God, I don't even have the color I was going to wear in here. Still in my purse from yesterday. It is Candy Ass from Jeffree Star. I'm really loving that because it just gives a fullness to my lips. It's a it's a pinky kind of color. Actually, I'll put this on today. I've been wearing that a lot. Candy F. Because it lasts all day. And it's a metallic. Just gives a kind of more bold statement. And it also makes your lips look very full. Which, as we know, my lips are not very full. <laughs> they do look a lot better since I've been having them done. But, as you can tell, it's time to get them done again. For some reason, this side will hang on forever. And this side just keeps drooping and drooping and drooping. <laughs> This is uh, Primrose by Smashbox. And I like to get these, you know, people ask me, I like to get these little samples. The reason why I like that is because once that little tip on the, the um, lipstick is gone, once that's worn off, I don't like to use it. <laughs> I hate, hate, hate using lip liners. I just, I really do. And um, that's why I... Don't wear lipstick once that's gone because then you have to use a lip liner and I'm not big on lip liners. I do wear them occasionally, especially with darker reds and whatnot. Anyway, I am stuck like Chuck on this, guys. This is the um, the MAC Whisper of Guilt. And I like this. It, I mean, it looks shocking gold in here. It looks pretty blinding. It's really not. See? It is buildable. But I like it because I get that wet look out of it. See, it's more of a wet kind of look. More of a natural, more of a natural look. Especially, I'm going to the doctor, so I don't want to be glowing for days, you know. Glowing to the stars, but I do kind of go heavy on it. I like this because you can go heavy on it and it still it just gives that kind of like a natural kind of glow to the skin and for a gold color and to work on my fair skin girl I'm telling you that normally don't happen <laughs> so and let's go on to this I'm going to do the um the tart today I kind of showed you that smash box but I don't or not the smash the cover FX um, this is the ready set ready set radiance and I like this because you can go to town and see it just it puts that glow back to my skin between that and the um, highlighter let that dry down. Now with the, um, ah, I dropped you guys. Oh my God. Ah, wasn't that crazy? How the fuck did I do that? Now I got this thing on. <laughs> Whoa. That's the first time I've ever done that, guys. That is the first time I've dropped you guys. Are you okay in there? I was reaching up to get this to show you. I wanted to show you on top of the um, this highlighter. I'm just gonna kind of. I'll just run my finger through it. I'm just gonna kind of go right here. See that? Now, this is just spraying this on with that highlighter. Look at that. I'm blinding. See that? Look at that. That just 
And I, I want to show you because people will tell you if you use too much of this, what it'll do. I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to show you. See how it just, it goes, it goes like that. And if that's what you're going for, hey, knock yourself out. But look at what that would look like on your face. Now, if you got that just here on the highlight area, hey, that'd be pretty cool. But you will look like literally a glazed donut. And to show you this, how thick this is, this is what the remnants of it, if you touch your face, will look like. But now I've got it all over me. But that is one thing about this one. You can, I like to spray my arms with it during the day. Because it just gives you a nice little glisten. Because I have badly, badly dry skin. And that's what that does. Have a nice day, guys. Sorry I dropped you on your head. It won't happen again. Come back and see me. Talk to you soon. Bye.